Hey everyone, this is John from Plant Madness. I had a customer asking me about transplanting and I also wanted to work on this particular plant to uh, get rid of this top cutting that I don't like. So I'm gonna kinda do both with you really quick today. So number one, um, don't have anybody, I just have the camera on a tripod, so I'm doing the best I can. Oh, interesting, so look at this. Um, see the yellow damage here on the tips? This is from root rot. Uh, we had these in another greenhouse before we got the new mother house built and some of these were getting overwatered. Uh, so this is what that looks like. So there you go. That's, that's kind of informative as well. The bigger thing I wanted to show you is see the variegation here. There's not a lot of variegation in these leaves. I'm not liking the way it turned out. It's not bad. Could throw some better variegation better, but, uh, and let's see, let me make sure I'm in my camera frame. So you can see it's predominantly growing green. It's still got a lot of great variegation here, but let me bring this up here. See this new uh, shoot coming out here from this node is almost white. We don't want it completely white and it's not, it's got green on the backside here. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna cut this right here and I'm gonna cut it at an angle. Any of you guys that have ever done roses, uh, you cut roses at an angle so the stem doesn't rot. Like you can see here, I cut this on an angle. The reason is if you cut it completely flat, the water will sit in there. It'll start to rot uh, in the cane uh, or in the stem. Roses are obviously called a cane. Now I have my shears, but I uh, just sprayed alcohol on them. You got to think of this like surgery, just like you're going to do surgery on yourself. Uh, you want to sterilize it. So I have, and I'm going to make a cut at an angle right there. Now, what I'm going to do, and I've kind of already done it, I just kind of squeeze around the pot to get the roots to break up for me so I can easily pull it out. Now you can see this is really, really root bound. You can see the bottom here and you can actually see some damage. Uh, see these are dead root tips here because this was over watered. Uh, almost looks like it was sitting in water. Uh, this greenhouse kind of got a little neglected while we were busy building another one. Uh, it is unfortunate, but it is part of the business. Now I want these roots right here uh, because I want to transplant this top cutting with these roots. Uh, the more roots, the better. And then I'm going to replant this somewhere else. So I'm just going to be somewhat gentle. Remember these are, are pretty tough plants. Um, people get really freaked out and you know, if you pay 600, $700 for a plant, I, I totally get it. I have done that many a time. I paid thousands for a plant, but you just, you know, it's just like a tangle in your hair. You gently work it out just like that and see those two come apart really easy. But this little rooted piece here, it's going to give me some trouble. I just kind of pull it like that. Wow, that little bitty aerial root turned into that. Isn't that crazy? So now we're gonna replant this and um, it's gonna show the, uh, throw this wonderful shoot with a lot of irrigation. And now we have this top cutting with a lot of roots here that's gonna take off and grow really well. And uh, we've gotten two plants out of this and we've talked about a lot of great topics. So anyway, I hope this was informative. Thanks again, this is John from Plant Madness. Be sure to always go check us out on Etsy and we're, let's see, December, we're set to launch the new website, uh, plantmadness.com. And of course, we're on Instagram. All right. Happy planting.